Hi. This is my, well, partially finished um, inline four Lego engine. Um, from my previous video, you can see that this um, has had a lot of stuff uh, added to it, like the uh, four pipes uh, for, uh, for the exhaust, the uh, alternator, um, the other wheels for, for, for the timing belt, um, and uh, the intake pipe for the air, and then the big flywheel on the back, which is like one of my favorites. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty heavy. I'm not sure how heavy it is exactly, but it's pretty sturdy. And, um, it runs pretty well. Um, the motor does struggle a little bit since, uh, it's a Mindstorm motor. But, um, yeah, but it, it, it still runs pretty well. So, uh, let me just run it for you. second okay so you can see that it runs uh, pretty well the camshaft for exhaust pipes and motor on the back And then a uh, pretty bad lighting, but you can kind of see the crankshaft. Alternator. And the belts. So, yeah. Um, it's a good engine. Um, I just wish it could run a little bit faster. Um, it's, it's, it's really hard to gear it up because um, I don't have a place to um, uh, attach the gears to but um, yeah so you get the picture um, so yeah um, so if I turn it around you can you can see just a little bit of detail on the wall um, and th the, the reason I did this wall is because um, I did not have enough uh, blue bricks to finish it all and um, I realized it would look pretty bad if um, I used a bunch of different colors for an engine like this. But um, it turned out really well. Um, from my last engine, which is kind of obliterated, to now I think it looks better, actually. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and the only thing I do not have on this is the radiator and the valves. But those will be coming soon I just haven't made them yet um but yeah so thank you for watching this video